Want to import your Binance information via API into Coinly? Today, I'll show you how. Before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. Hello, my name is Nelly, and today I will show you how to connect your Binance information with Coinly via the API method. Okay, first step as always is going to be logging into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. Once you have logged into your account, you would go to the wallets area and you would click add wallet. Then we would type in Binance and there it is the first one that pops up. We have two different options. One video I made uh, was the CSV method, which is clicking on import from file. If that does interest you or you do need it potentially, I will leave that in the top right corner of this video and the description. In this specific video, we are talking about the setup auto sync method, AKA the API method. So I will click setup auto sync. Now there is a massive note here to look at before we jump into the actual API method. So if you have enabled futures on your account, then you may receive an email or SMS message when Coinly is syncing your transaction. So do not panic, just that could potentially happen. Convert trades are only imported starting 2021. Dust conversions are only imported from the last one year. Commission rebates are not provided by the API. Earn bonuses slash penalties are missing and need to be added manually. This is also uh, true for the CSV method. Bot trades and NFT trades are not provided by the API. And because of Binance limitations, the API can take a few hours to fully sync. So quite a few different limitations there. So it is recommended that you do use the CSV uh, route, but if you'd still like to use the API route, I will now explain how you would do that. Okay, first step is to log into your Binance account and go into your Binance API management page. From here, we wanna create an API and just make sure that your two-factor authentication is set up because you will be asked to fill it out here. By default, only the read permission will be granted. So make sure that there are no other uh, permissions uh, being granted to the API and that there is no IP restriction. Coinly is not interested in moving or touching any of your funds. So we only need the read permission to be able to look at the information and calculate your tax gains and losses. Then you would simply copy the API secret from Binance into Coinly and the API secret uh, would follow. So just keep in mind here, there is a small note. Binance also has a special tax report API, which will also work with Coinly. However, tax report API will not allow full access to future transactions, which is why we recommend um, creating the regular API instead. Okay, the last note is about sub accounts. So I will tell you right here, if you use sub accounts with Binance, you will need to import this data as well. If using API, create separate API keys for each sub account. Add them to separate Binance wallets and Coinly. And please check your transfers between the main account and your sub accounts uh, as they may need to be added manually. Okay, once that data has been imported, you would go to the transactions tab and just double check underneath the hood, make sure everything is sitting correctly with you. Okay, if you've traded on other exchanges and wallets, which you probably have, you're gonna wanna repeat this simple process and connect them all. And luckily, Coinly integrates with over 800 platforms. And if you ever need a hand, we upload new integration videos weekly. So now with all your transactions imported into Coinly, we are able to view all your crypto transactions to accurately calculate your capital gains, losses, and income from crypto. This also includes DeFi's, airdrops, staking, etc. If you have done any staking or liquidity providing, then you may need to tag those transactions manually. And like I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link to our staking and liquidity videos down below and in the top right corner of this video. Okay, now you can head over to the Coinly Reports page and you can see how your year stacks up with a free summary showing your crypto totals for the year. The summary is awesome, but to officially file your taxes, you're gonna need a lot more detail. So now for the best part. Coinly produces a stack of cryptocurrency tax reports that cover your year's activity in great detail. This includes calculations and totals that line up with how the tax man wants it. We support over 1 million investors around the world with reports like the IRS Schedule D and Form 8949, 
plus a report for TurboTax, Tax Act, the UK, Australia, Canada, France, and a complete tax report for just about everyone else. Simply buy a plan from Coinly and download your report. You can file your taxes yourself, or if you work with an accountant, you can share it. Or you can even invite them to your account to Coinly. Lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this report might be deductible. I will leave a bunch of resources down below if you need further assistance with our product. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or on our forum section where users and Coinly support team are ready to jump in.